I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I mean, it's, it hasn't been around very long. Therefore, it hasn't been tested very much. Who knows what it can do to us long term? I mean, nobody knows. I mean, it's just... April Fools. Are you kidding me? What? 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 After the year we've all had? Really? Really? Okay. All I know is that if I have to wipe down one more grocery bag, or order one more DoorDash, or binge watch one more I bake show on Netflix, I'm gonna kill myself, okay? I'm gonna get a gun, I don't own a gun, but I'll get a gun and I will kill myself. You all some stupid people. Stupid. Stupid. Just a bunch of petulant, defiant little babies. No, don't tell me what to do. You're taking away my freedom. Give me a break. You know what? Be a real patriot, do your civic duty, and get vaccinated. I used to have this thing called a life, and I would really love to get back to it. Sooner than later. Okay? Thanks. I am so done with you people. All I know is I'm vaxxed, chillaxed, and I'm here. Dear God, I'm here! <laughs> oh, man. That was my mom's favorite movie. They call it purple. She took me to see that thing 16 times in the movie theater. 16. True story. I don't know what it is about that film, but... You know, I've had many discussions with my friends over the years. Mostly gay friends, and they all had a similar connection to it. I don't know if it's because it's people that have been marginalized most of their lives, but man, that film really played a profound part in my adolescence. It really did. And I really, I can't explain why. It just affected me so deeply and it stuck with me. You know, it, it resonated with me. And to this day, it is, it is still my favorite movie. I'm here.